This part will show you how to analyze the results you have obtained from your motion analysis. Add gravity to this analysis as shown in the previous video. Set the duration and then add an initial condition. To do this, zoom in on the cannonball and then right click on it. Click on initial velocity. Give it a direction by clicking on this line and choose a value of 5000 meters per second. Click OK when you have done so. Click on the results and plots icon. Under select the category, pick displacement, velocity and acceleration. Then choose trace path. Click on this point at the center of the cannonball and click OK. This will display the trajectory of the cannonball. Click calculate and as you can see this line follows the ball. Go back to the starting point. Click on results and plots and choose displacement velocity acceleration again but this time choose linear displacement and for the last category pick magnitude. Click on the point at the center of the cannonball and click on the point at the center of the target. Then click OK. This will give you a plot of how close the cannonball comes to the target as a function of time. Close this plot. To display your results, expand the results folder and right click on the plots you want to show. I hope you find this video helpful.